all right everybody this is my this will be our lecture on this is sh short response one and two lecture part two this is overview of response writing so short response writing for one two and midterm exam how many word count how many words you have to write you have to write 300 minimum up to 400 words so you cannot be less than 300 or more than 400 you have to be within this range number of paragraphs how many paragraphs you have you are supposed to write in response one response two and midterm exam three paragraphs so let's talk about those paragraphs introduction so paragraph one is introduction what i'm going to do here i'll just show you like sentence level things as well so you have an idea in the next lecture we are going to talk about introduction and then another lecture part three maybe body one and body two okay there's no conclusion it's optional even if you write the conclusion it's not going to be graded you will not get any points for writing the conclusion you won't lose any point for not writing the conclusion either so we will grade introduction body one and body two only now introduction has four to five sentences i prefer and i tell all my students to write four sentences in the introduction so number one sentence one for the introduction will be citation plus pieces of the writer pieces of the article similar to summary writing this was the first sentence of summary writing so this will be the first sentence of response one first sentence of response two first sentence of midterm exam response three times All right overall thesis overall main idea no details you don't have to mention all the three causes all the three effects no overall the writer discussed several effects of something causes of something advantages of something whatever but you have to paraphrase okay sentence two or let's call it part one part two so part one of introduction citation part two of introduction for the response will be A short summary only included only detailing the main ideas main ideas okay but maximum five if there are more than five main ideas in the article you don't have to write all of them five enough okay so the best is a summary in one to two sentences perfect summary is one to two sentences some teachers accept up to some teachers accept up to three sentences but the best approach is to write one or two sentences that's perfect only the main ideas and when i put you put, give you the lecture on how to write the introduction we will discuss it again part three your thesis your thesis should have three things so your thesis should have the two main ideas the two main or so the two ideas you select right and proposition position means agree or disagree or both so you can agree with one idea disagree with the other idea you can disagree with both ideas or you can agree with both ideas or mixed so it could be mixed thesis agree you I agree with both of but remember no personal pronoun you cannot use I here you cannot see I agree I disagree I you we out they are all out not allowed okay so these are the three parts of introduction now the, so this is so this is only one sentence the first part the second part best one or two sentences so two sentences here thesis must be only one sentence 
okay so this is introduction paragraph one now paragraph two body one body one part one is topic sentence so the topic sentence has idea one from your thesis with your position you repeat your position paraphrase paraphrase it don't use the same words we'll discuss how to write later in another lecture part two and this is one sentence topic is one sentence part two paraphrase the original idea of the author from the paragraph you have selected so you have selected this idea from a paragraph go to that paragraph now give us the real information what the writer has said and I will explain it in body paragraph lecture in more detail. Part 3, uh, this is always one sentence, one sentence only. Part 3, your response starts here. So you will give your position one more time and start writing your response, your reasons arguments, discussion, why you agree or disagree must be at least two different points minimum four sentences more is better okay so body two everything is same but it's just Para 3 will be body 2. So I'm going to copy, which is going to be the same thing. The only difference is this is idea 2 from your thesis. Okay. Alright, so these are the three paragraphs. Now, one by one, I will give you lectures and I'll send them to you for introduction, body 1, and body 2. For the next lectures, for the next lectures, you must read Divorce in India article to understand the writing steps. Okay, so we are done here.